Girls Rock Drummers um, campers. <laughs> so uh, we are going to talk a little bit about the different types of drumsticks out there and what they can be used for. So here we have our typical wooden drumsticks. Um, these are uh, two different types of drum wooden drumsticks. Um, the first one is it's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit thinner and there's a little bit of a smaller head on this particular uh, drumstick, um, as well as there's a little bit of a um, little bit of a shine on there. It gives it a little bit of a grip when you're planing. Um, if your hands might tend to get a little sweaty, it's nice to have a little bit of a grip on there. The second type of wooden drumstick, um, this one is a little bit wider and it's a little bit heavier and then there's a larger uh, head on this drumstick. So if you put the two of them together, you can see that one has a smaller head and one has a larger head. Um, it depends on what you like to play with, what kind of sound. So um, either are great, just depending on what your comfort level is. Next we have our brush brushes. So these are wire brushes. Um, you can also buy them in nylon, um, depending on your preference. And they're used a lot of times to play jazz, but you can really use them to play, you know, any kind of music, um, depending on the sound that you're trying to make. So again, these are the wire brushes. And uh, again, some are, are made of nylon. Now we have what we call our um, hot rods or rods. Um, and these are uh, used to play, if you want to have a little bit of a quieter sound, if you want to have a little bit of a lower volume, then uh, you can use these rods or hot rods uh, to play. And if you look at the end, instead of being solid, you can see there's one piece in the middle surrounded by a bunch of little, little pieces there. So that's what allows it to make a little bit of a, a lighter, softer sound when you're playing. We have our mallets. Um, so again, these are usually played for um, if you want to play a little bit of a, a quieter sound. Um, it's a little bit of a deeper sound if you're playing these on the floor tom or your rack toms. Um, if you want to play the cymbals and uh, or if you're playing a ride cymbal and you want a ride cymbal swell or um, it just creates a different kind of a more of a bell sound um, versus uh, when you're using your wooden drumstick. So those are the different types of sticks um, that you can use to play on your kit. And I just recommend and suggest that you, um, if you get a chance to try them all, um, they all make very different sounds and uh, just fun to play around with them and, and see what you like. Um, you'll find with your wooden drumsticks um, when you go to choose a pair that um, you may want to try them out. Hopefully they let you try them out in the store. Um, they usually have some samples there that you can try out and um, which is fun uh, because uh, then you can get a feel for what you like um, when you are um, when you're playing those with those sticks some you might you might pick up and they feel too heavy some you might pick up and they feel too light so it'll just give you an idea of um what feels good in your hand when you're playing and that's the most important thing so it's kind of like um you know trying on a pair of shoes what might be comfortable to you is not comfortable to someone else um so have fun um play around with the different sticks and the different sounds um and um you just have a great time, okay? I wanted to show you a little bit um, what each drumstick sounds like on the drum kit. Uh, so I am just going to be playing, um, just with my left hand, I'm just gonna go around the kit and um, show you what the different sticks will sound like on your drum kit. That is just our um, typical wooden drum drumstick. Um, you could hear the different sounds, how it gets lower as you go across the rack toms into the floor tom, which is what it's supposed to do. Um, so that is how the uh, drum, the wooden drumstick sounds. So now we'll do um, the brushes. So you just get a little bit of an idea what the brush sounds like on the uh, snare drum. So, 
you can hear it's a little bit of a softer sound. It sounds like a brush, right, when you're scratching something. There's different ways to play the brushes. You can hear the different sound that that the brush makes uh, compared to the drumstick. It's a very soft, quiet, you know, almost like that scratchy sound. Next, we have our rod or our hot rod. And I will uh, show you what that sounds like on the drum kit. than your um, wooden drumstick still is loud enough but uh, has a little bit of a quieter sound uh, than the wooden drumstick if that's the effect that you're going for. Our last drumstick is the mallet so um, I will show you what that sounds like on the drumsticks. Also um, I'll show you on the cymbal as well. So um, that definitely has a deeper sound. And then on the cymbal, you can kind of hear that, the waves on the cymbal. So that's the, the nice sound that that makes versus just um, kind of the drumstick sound on the cymbal. Uh, so I hope this has been um, helpful for everyone. I hope you enjoyed the videos and keep rocking. Have a great time. Uh, that's the most important thing. Have fun and um, play around with your kit and your drumsticks and enjoy. So take care, have a great summer, bye.